Tom is here in spirit. Mm. You guys have been on a whirlwind tour, but you guys are stronger than Tom. You made it. Tom has been felled. Yeah, hey, look. us together. Yeah, it's just like we're people basically say they enjoy us. We dominate everything. You're welcome. The You're next Spider-Man film won't have Spider-Man. He's kind of superfluous I to mean, it, I think, boring. at this point. Like, why would you need that? I know, like, you, know? you don't even want to be the hero of this dude. Yeah. yeah. The Adventures of MJ and Ned has a nice ring to it. Uh, I mean... You have no idea. We've been talking about this We've been talking so about long. it. We've been talking about it. I mean, it's about time. Yeah, I'm it's saying, about time. man. Goodness. It's good to see you both. You Congratulations. <laughs> the new Spider-Man film, Spider-Man Far From Home, coming July 2nd. It's an awesome piece of work, guys. Thanks. Oh, please. That makes the press tour a little bit better, right? Yeah, I mean, when you are excited yeah, about you know the movie. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have gotten to know each other quite a bit the last few years. You've made two films. You've done two ginormous press tours. By now, can you sense when the other one is annoyed, tired, maybe. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty obvious. Yeah. But also, they don't make it too subtle. Like, <laughs> definitely, definitely let it be known. What's the best way to annoy Tom, to like get under his skin? Is there, is Apparently, scratch on, the, like, the, like, they're like styrofoam, foamy, styrofoam yeah. and they have kinda, the thing. If you touch them, the, like. With your nails, it makes that kind of weird, sound. screechy noise. Sound, he hates yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're just gonna start to travel just, around with that? With that, just that film. one board. Hi, yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would literally die. Uh, how about this? Are you competitive with each other? Are you competitive beyond lip sync battles? Well, do you me find and Tom are competitive. Yeah. I've never really been competitive. With oh, there's me. like nothing. I feel like there's nothing we need to like we, be competitive yeah, about. Seriously, we're good. We're like on but that other guy. Levels, yeah. What are you competitive yeah. with, uh, Tom the Bath? Oh, y'all um, just always everything. To, yeah, beat every, like yeah. at weird things too. It's like not even like an actual game. Yeah. It's sort of just like, oh, who ate more? Yeah. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A game in which there are no winners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about the content of the film without revealing too much. We can say this is uh, a summer abroad for you guys, and there's romance mm. in the air. Were you mm. surprised when you saw that there was as much romance as there was for both of your characters in this one? I, that, no. Did you know that you Nettie know, Pot was going to be a you thing? You know what's so funny? I remember Tom was telling me, like, dude, the new storyline is so funny. You get a girlfriend. And I'm like, no. Yeah. No way. And then we read the script, and it's like this super cute thing. Yeah, it's so dope. And it's like this two, oh, man, it's great, because then your guys' relationship is, like, super awkward. Yeah. And then it's ours like the is, opposite. Yeah, ours is, like, <laughs> full on. Going smoothly. Yeah, full on, like, European vacation together. <laughs> it's just so, love from the start. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for, I, it's it's been interesting to see like the development of MJ and Peter in these films because we're so used to by now seeing MJ being so dry and withdrawn mm -hmm. and, and not mm -hmm. kind of revealing like her true colors and to like actually see her kind yeah. of broken down a little bit. Yeah. Was that fun or was that weird to kind of play that kind of I mean it's been it? nice because again the character is like such a specific character and I think a lot of people make some assumptions about who she is and what she's like. And I think it's really nice to kind of see how Peter is really the only person that can catch her off guard. Right. Or the only person that she's willing to like be, I don't know, just like be vulnerable, vulnerable yeah, with. Yeah. yeah, and so it's sweet. And I think they like each other for all the things that make them, I think, the outsiders and the weirdos. So totally. that's really sweet. And we get to see the evolution of this really cute, awkward, you know, teen romance thing which is sweet and you feel like you know when anything happens between them you feel like they deserve it because you've watched all the like god awful the cringy painful awkwardness. moments yes, exactly. <laughs> so you're like times. oh like it's working you know yeah. yeah so when this part came around at first was it very specifically said to you like this is going to be no. our universe's version of mj no, no. I had, I, all i knew was that like auditioning the first time around for the movie it basically you said there's two like female roles in you know kind of in the movie yeah. and one will be like you know kind of the love interest for this one and then the other character is mj so obviously she'll be small in this role and then as the you know movies right. go on you'll kind of understand her a little bit more so i was like dope yeah i was just excited to like be a part of it i was like i will take <laughs> whatever, whatever you role you give me <laughs> you don't understand like my age my, my manager at the time said like you know you're auditioning for this role but they could totally give you something totally small and different. Right. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I don't give a I don't like, care. Please, like, I'll take please, whatever I'll you got. It. If I'm just like, just if I just say hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same. So I, I knew that it that I was auditioning for the role of MJ. That yes. would be kind of hidden and people wouldn't know till the end of the movie. But I didn't know that it was like a reimagining of, I think, the original character and was going to be basically the Marvel Cinematic Universe's version of what MJ or Mary Jane represents. Yes. So I didn't really learn that until we actually got to work and and John kind of gave me some references and I was like, oh, oh, so she, it's different. 
Yeah. So he was like, you know Daria? <laughs> and I was like, like the cartoon? And he was like, yeah. He was like, like Daria. And I was like, okay. Nice. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> so there, thus, we have our, yeah. our MJ. Are we ever going to see the red hair that you're, you're sporting <laughs> this now one, this, this in, stuff? in the MCU? In the... Not, not in this movie. I don't think so. Um, I don't know. We'll see what she, what she ends up doing or what John ends up doing. Mm. Do we want to see Gwen Stacy enter the mix? I don't know. Hey, look, I mean, you know, more, the more the merrier, I say. Okay. <laughs> you know, Easy I, for you to say. Yeah. That doesn't impact your relationship. Oh, I mean, you know, well. I mean, you never know. You never know. Anything's yeah, possible. I mean, these people, like, you know, hormones and everything. <laughs> it's unpredictable. Kids. Yeah. Jeez, you know. Ned and Gwen, next oh, film. I mean, shoot. Shoot. Why not? <laughs> Talk to me about your perspective. You know, you're you're in the Spider-Man side of the universe, which is obviously connected to the MCU. When you saw Endgame, did you come into it blind? Did you know anything about what was going to happen in Infinity War or Endgame? Unfortunately, being friends with Tom Holland mm, <laughs> really ruins a lot of movies for you. Right. Uh, yeah. So we knew like for a long time, <laughs> like a long <laughs> ass time. It wasn't even something like. He just said it out of a whim, too. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, dude, sit down, we got, some, we got something to talk about. He just threw it away. Or, he, like, gave us a decision. He basically, like, hey, would you like to know? <laughs> yeah, like, he <laughs> just, just like friends it. would do. Yeah. Like, a friend might it do. It was that, just yeah. like, this is who's going to die. Yeah, he just forced it on us. So, you know, we were forced to live with that guilt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were forced to carry that yeah, burden. Or carry that pain. And, um, <laughs> so. it's heartbreaking, really. Do you trust Tom with your secrets? Because, as we do know, but now he is just. Yeah, you know. Uh, I feel like it's eh. it's kind of fifty. Sometimes I kind of hold back some things, you know, like right. some like some some scripts. I feel like he'd be in. good at like serious stuff. Right. But it's not the like, things that he gets yeah. too excited about. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. not Got necessarily it. that he can't keep a secret. It's just yeah. that if he gets too excited, Got it. he'll want to share. So it. ATM code is fine because there's nothing yeah, that exciting, nothing exciting about it. <laughs> but plot revelation. <laughs> oh, like Jacob's little. <laughs> you never know. It depends on who's ATM. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's a pretty you know? interesting bankor. <laughs> A spoiler alert for those who haven't seen uh, the last two Avengers movies, but were you more moved by Peter dying in Infinity War or uh, Tony Stark dying in Endgame? Did I mean, they were both, both pretty, both pretty yeah. powerful moments, it's, I think. It's um, pretty powerful both ways. Uh, dude, oh, man, but I, then, like, it's yeah. also kind of, like, we know Tom. Yeah. Like, right. I, I've, only, I've only got to meet Robert Downey Jr. once, which broke my heart because... It's Robert Downey Jr. and Kevin, I like well, to pretend like we're best friends. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, we Facetime Robert doing this commercial one time, <laughs> and he was like, "Bro, Jacob, what the f is up, man? Everybody knows your f name now. You're so lucky, bitch." Like it was so funny. Like he was literally saying that. It was so funny. But, did you have a similar interaction? Today? I did not. It was just a hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> He's playing it cool. He knew. Yeah. He, knows. Yes. He, he knows. He knows. It's the beginning of something beautiful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but with that being said. Yes. Yeah, I think knowing Tom, yeah. it was like it was like oh. Yeah. It was kind of sad. <laughs> it really was you like. Know? But then I also laughed a lot at both but, of those. But but I also got what? nervous because yeah. I was like, Good are job. we still doing the yeah. second movie? <laughs> Yeah, you had a moment it, of like sad, oh, like, oh, but wait, my job oh, is in jeopardy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but no, also, I, no, I did really laugh a lot, so. Why were you laughing? Because, I, again, we know He's a people. dark humor. No, like, yeah, yeah it's, I know it sounds morbid. Ha ha, Spider-Man's <laughs> dying. It's morbid, I know, but it's really just talk, like, because obviously it's just CGI, right? Because it's Tom, right? yeah. It's CGI, so you can just, I can just imagine him laying down on the green screen. <laughs> and then and, like, just staying like, there. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't think he said that. That wasn't the line, though. But he I, did I talk go. about that. He did, he did say yeah. how, like, obviously you, they disappear in post, so right. he just had to, like, oh, lay there while everybody else was doing their lines. I'm that's like, awkward. that's, that's so hilarious. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, do you care, have an interest on, like, the next villain you see in a Spider-Man film? Or you kind of, I mean, Spider-Man so has much. some of the best yeah. villains, so... Yeah. They're really the, the options are limitless. Yeah, but I mean, excited, hell yeah. Like, because there's so many different people that could like team up eventually. Do you have a vote? Anyone that jumps to mind? Uh, I mean, you know, there's just, there's just one character called um, the Hobgoblin. Yes. Um, <laughs> and um, this is a secret I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Okay. I'm actually gonna do that part. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Does, does Sony know this? Do yeah. Marvel does know anybody this? know this? <laughs> This is just something I dreamed up in my room last Exc night. MTV yeah. exclusive. This is like I'm breaking the news right now. Oh wow! So, just so you know. Wow. That spoiler. That, that's a big spoiler in this movie. Yeah. 
Right. I've become a hobgoblin, guys. Huh. You're welcome. I think I saw a different <laughs> print of it. Um, you guys kind of have the best of all possible worlds being in these Spider-Man films, I feel like, because you get to go to the locales mm -hmm. and enjoy each other's company, and then you get to wish Tom well as he jumps around like mm. a crazy person doing crazy stunts. Yeah. Is there any envy of, like, oh, he gets to do the fun stuff, or? Honestly, mm. the stories I've heard about him having to wear that suit, like, yeah. I do not. I don't wish that on my worst enemy. And you, know, like... <laughs> you know what I think about all the time that really scares me? Mm. Is, like, when he wears that thing, like, I, the mask that you can't, just you can't take off. Of yeah, you can't see out of it either. Because it's all like one piece. Yeah. I get scared all the time. Like, what if he's working so hard that he throws up? And then he like. And then he can't. He, he chokes. chokes. Yeah. I think about yeah, it all, all the time. The time. That's like that's really true. That's very valid. Really scary. You think about that all the time. I do. Because <laughs> I look at him like, please. I hope he never gets sick. Oh my god. No, but also <laughs> like when he's like doing flips and stuff, like, and he can't see out the mask. It's like, how is he doing that? Yeah. You know, like right. it's crazy. So, much respect <laughs> yeah, to Tom. Yeah, shout out, because I don't want to be wearing a thong <laughs> in a, in a body do tight I. suit for no. like 12 hours a day. No one wants that. No, mm -hmm. but for Hobgoblin, you're going to have to do that now. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell him to make it like just sweatpants. Yeah. yeah. A roomy fit. Yeah, yeah, just yeah like exactly, a room. yeah. And just a jacket, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The film's about to come out. I don't know what your schedules are in terms of what you're off to next, but I would imagine if I were you, I would want to like sneak into a theater and see. Mm. Oh, I definitely would. Right? <coughs> yeah, so, I just want to see how people are going to react, react to it. React to it, yeah. Because yeah. there's some spoilery there's some stuff we're not talking about. I did it here. last yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, did you? Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, Tom was with, was with me. That sounds really yeah. fun. Were you like, we what went, that we went in sweat and sweatshirts and like yeah. um, Spider Man, like they were kids' sweatshirts, but nice. I got them at Target. Nice. <laughs> nice. And we went and saw it. That's really cool. Yeah. I want to do that, but like I'm just too oh, famous now. It's just right. <laughs> You don't, want, you, know, you don't want that clout. A couple things. Uh, Zendaya, you're always the busiest human being alive. You <laughs> shot your part in Dune, I hear, which I could not be more excited about. Uh, yeah, I'm excited too. Timothy Chalamet is so talented. Yeah, he's what was awesome. he like? Was... He's, he's wonderful. He's such a nice dude. Yeah. Like, really, really great guy. So, I'm excited just as everyone else is. <laughs> and cool to be a part of Denis Villeneuve's like, crazy vision. Not a, not, not a bad, not a bad job at all. Yeah. Big fan. Lately, um, both Hugh and Zach have talked that there might, in fact, be a Greatest Showman sequel. Have nice. you heard <laughs> Nice. Not that I'm aware of. No, no, no info from your end. Not. I have not heard anything about that. But hey, it's it's Why apparently not? it's Why a not? thing. <laughs> We're Why making not it a thing. You heard yeah, it here yeah. first. There you yeah. go. <laughs> there you, you know, go. Well, you know that thing where you keep speaking it. I mean, yeah. It just happens. Things it's happen. greenlit. It's yeah. coming out next Christmas. I just Christmas. want to know, like, what, what, what <coughs> would it be about? I know it is a tricky sequel to do. Because it's like what do you do? everything already happened. Mm, oh, Barnum, Barnum, and yeah. Barnum and Bailey. I need to get my Zendaya movie quiz out and <laughs> really wrong. see. No, you, seriously, because I could totally win. Have you seen Euphoria? <coughs> um, mm-hmm. Have you? You know, but I'm so busy. No. <laughs> have you? He's big time now. You know, I'm so so bull. <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what? I'm I've seen no, it. I did my job. Thank Congratulations. You. You know what? Thank you. I'm going to watch it when I get to LA. Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm done sure now. <laughs> I'm so done. I'm going to put HBO on right at the hotel. Mm -hmm. I'm so done with this bull. <laughs> Briefly on that one, I'm just curious. Like, I mean, it must be bizarre. You're like promoting two different, very different sort of things. Very different <laughs> teenage experiences. Yeah. yeah. That's were, hilarious. Were you nervous about sort of the reception to something like Euphoria, which is so honest and so bold mm -hmm. and so different than anything you've ever done before? Um, of course, of course. Because, again, I've, I haven't really been able to go that route. So yeah. I knew that the people who needed to see it or needed to connect to it um, would. And um, I think it would just eventually speak for itself. So it's kind of, yeah, I don't know. It's it already, be, it's out there. So. It must be a kick to see just even on social media, like as these first couple episodes have come out, like there's a, yeah. you can see the immediate yeah. like, discussions. Yeah, because I mean, the, the show came out like almost like two or three weeks after we finished, oh like the day we wrapped. So it was like, oh, oh you know, like, you like a very it? quick, <clears throat> yeah. you know. Um, so we didn't really have time to like dissociate a little bit. Right. You know, like with a movie like this or, you know, any movie, you have time between to just kind of like, let go of it yes. and let it like the ownership of it belong to someone else. Mm. So it's kind of different to have something that's like so emotionally yeah. whatever, and then having to let the world see it. You're still in <laughs> well, it's good to have a palate cleanser, like just going around the world to promote a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, there it you is. Go. It, it definitely is a pick me up for sure because yeah. like those couple weeks between before I started the press tour, I was literally just like not leaving my house. So this is good for me, I think. <laughs> I think we found out a lot about each other today. <laughs> it really opened my eyes.